So how much difference do new bass strings make? Let's find out. So first of all, if you want to skip just straight to the sound clips, you can do so by going to this timestamp here. I will also paste some timestamps in the description. So, for a bit of context, this is my Fender Jazz, which is my main gigging bass. It's what I play 90% of the time. The strings that are currently on it were put on it roughly the beginning of August. I did a handful of gigs with it, played it a lot in the house, practicing, noodling around, but really, due to a certain global health situation, I've, like most musicians, I haven't been gigging. So my main gig is usually cruise ship bands. So when I'm doing that, I'm playing for maybe three, four hours a day, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less, but roughly around three to four hours a day. So that's quite a lot of string wear. So usually what I'll do is I'll change my strings about once a month. For me, that's the sort of sweet spot between having a sound that I'm happy with and the harsh economic reality that strings are quite expensive. But over the last eight months, because I've not been gigging, I felt that it's not really been necessary to put new strings on. It seemed like a bit of a waste of money. So I thought it'd be interesting to do a comparison. So the strings on that bass are eight months old, roundabouts, at the time of filming. They are absolutely knackered. So I've recorded the bass with the old strings, and then I put on a new set of Roto Sound 66 Swing Bass Stainless Steel strings. These are the exact same strings that were on before. These are just new. Same gauges, same material, same brand. So I've kept everything the same across the two recordings. I haven't done any post-processing in Cubase. I've kept all of the settings on the um, audio interface the same. All the settings on the preamp I'm using the same. All the settings on the pedals I used were the same. I'll put notes of what pedals I was using on the sound clips. So hopefully it should be about as fair a test as I can do. So, see what happens. So I've just finished listening through the tracks I've recorded. Probably, unsurprisingly, there's a noticeable difference between new strings and the old strings. Obviously, if you've been playing for a while, 
and you have changed your strings, this is probably not going to be a huge surprise. One of the things that surprises me most whenever I change the strings on a bass is how it sounds acoustically. It just is so much more sustain, it's louder. And then plugged into an amp in the room, again, the difference is very noticeable. There's so much more top end. One of the things that I really noticed, having played really dead strings for the last eight months, is how much more finger noise there is. And if your muting technique isn't quite as good as it should be, if any strings are ringing out, it is far more noticeable. And it's definitely made me think that maybe my muting technique has slipped a little bit, having got used to the dead strings. I don't know how well the difference is gonna come across in the recording after YouTube compression, but there's definitely more top end. It's much brighter. It's just much more present sound. I think, interestingly, there is definitely an element of subjectivity here. I think some people will definitely prefer the sound of the dead end strings. Having listened to the recordings back, definitely for a pick or for slap, I much prefer the newer strings. But for finger style, I think I prefer the old strings. And I think for a lot of stuff, playing the new strings, I will probably roll the tone back a little bit. So hopefully that was interesting, or at least remotely helpful for some of you watching. So if you made this far into the video, thank you for watching. If you like the video, then click the like button. If you didn't like the video, YouTube has put systems in place for you to express that. I'm able to post more content like this on the channel in the future. So if you want to see more, click the subscribe button below and thank you for watching.